Then they put them in the IEP. The IEP is designed for people, for children with true mental health disorders, Down syndrome, autism, true learning disabilities is what the the IEP is designed for. Is what the the IEP is designed for. But what do they do to get your black ass child on an IEP? They put him in under OHI here in California. What is OHI? Other health impairments. And other health impairments can be anything. See, mothers, fathers, the cost of the father not being there, not being present in that child's life puts your child at greater risk of being molded by a system that's designed to put them right back in prison, right back in slavery. That's why I encourage men and women to work this stuff out. I didn't have too many clients at my last job that had an active father. When I did have active fathers, I usually can get that child's behavior flipped because if there's an active father and the child's wilding out, that's usually directed to some sort of trauma. The family lost their house and moved from a five-bedroom house in Palmdale to a one-bedroom apartment in Inglewood. That trauma can make a kid flip out. The trauma of divorce, the trauma of something happening in front of their eyes can weird the kid out. But anytime I've had a had an active mother and father to work with, I've been able to curtail those behaviors and get that child right back on the right path, usually within nine months or less. That's why I encourage adults, no matter what your issues are with the other, do your best to have both parents seeing those children. And for you fathers out there who are running from seeing your children because of how you feel, some bullshit, you leaving that kid out there to be raised by the gang. You leaving your child out there to be raised by the wolves. Because they're going to come to that child's mother in sheep's clothing. Oh no, this IEP is here to help. Oh, as a matter of fact, if we put little 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 John Tay in a non-public school, we can give you bus support. So now you don't have to take him to school or worry about him on a bus stop. You know, a non-public school, they pick you up door to door. They make it real convenient to get your kid in one of those prison schools, those non-public schools. They give you door to door transportation. Those schools have activities. They don't let you know that during class it's just a bunch of black children in those schools that really probably belong in honors classes, advanced placement classes. But since they thought too fast for that slow ass teacher of theirs, they got jacketed with a label, with a diagnosis because really, their issue is they're angry. They're angry that they don't see daddy. But a seven-year-old can't really voice that. Doesn't have the he doesn't have the language to 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 voice that at that time. A fourteen-year-old, a fifteen-year-old, that anger from their father not being there is pushing a lot of these bad behaviors on top that the mother can't control by herself. So she goes to the system for help. And the system is very nice. They very nicely railroad that kid as best as they can. They're going to do the best job they can do at getting that kid placed in prison. That's why parents got to, y'all got to, y'all got to work through that shit and be there for the kids. 
Because when I have fathers that are there, it's less likely these childs get these children get railroaded in this way. Very rare. It still happens. But when the father's not there, man, these kids are getting put out to the wolves. What's up, Highway J? What's up, Kenan? 